In previous videos, I demonstrated how the ESP8266 controller was programmed as a web server used in IoT applications. In this video, the successor of 8266, namely the ESP32, will be presented and programmed as a web server. Comparing the two microcontrollers, we see that the ESP32 is a major upgrade over the ESP8266. The 8266 uses a 32-bit processor single core at 80 MHz, while the 32 uses a dual core at at least 160 MHz. Also, we see that the ESP32 has more memory than the ESP8266. In terms of networking, the ESP32 supports Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Ethernet. On the other hand, the 8266 only supports Wi-Fi. The ESP32 has more GPIO PWM pins than the 8266. The ESP32 has 18 analog inputs at 12-bit, while the 8266 only had one, which was a major limitation. The ESP32 has two analog outputs, while the 8266 has none. In terms of serial communication, I2C and SPI, the ESP32 has more ports than the 8266. And finally, the ESP32 has some onboard sensors such as temperature, hole, and touch. In this project, the ESP32 is programmed as a web server serving a web page on a browser. The web page has been designed using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The interface is simple. We have a clickable button when pressed will turn on or toggle the LED. The C++ program for the ESP32 web server shown here is very similar to that of the 8266 and you can go back and watch my previous videos on how the code was written. And now for a quick demonstration note that the web page was designed using combination of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. In a future video, I will program the ESP32 controller to communicate with other devices using Bluetooth technology. Thank you for watching.